In this video, I wanted to explain to you a bit about the concept of attention and how attention creates energy and why managing your attention might just be the most important thing you can do with yourself. So think of two people. Think of your average neighbor, somebody who lives next to you. Let's say the average person that makes $100,000 a year, has a decent marriage, has a decent life, nothing above average. And now think about somebody like Bill Gates, who has, I think, around $130 billion. Okay, so this is Bill Gates, and this is Doofus, your neighbor Doofus. So, as you can see, they're both regular people. They both have arms, legs, heads, everything is just the same. IQ, maybe somewhat of a difference, maybe IQ is, in here, it's, um, let's say the average person, 100. Let's say Bill Gates, 140. This is 40% more. This is not, I don't even know the difference, but this is not a thousand times more. This is 40% more. So obviously, uh, the reason Bill Gates is worth $130 billion might be in part because he's very smart, but it's not the main reason. What is the biggest difference between these two people? In my mind, in my estimation, the biggest difference between these two people is one word, focus. You know, two words, focus and attention. <laughs> so what do, what do these two very important words mean? Focus and attention. Where you put your focus, where you put your attention, these are basically synonyms, that is where energy goes. That is what grows. So somebody who puts their attention mostly on negative things would mostly attract negative things to their life. This is not the law of attraction. This is about you being right. This is about you constantly validating what you see. So if all you see around you is negative things, you're going to validate that by creating that reality for yourself. Again, not law of attraction, actual practical reality. Now, the next level that people don't really talk about in self-development is that most people in self-development are focused on maybe a bit on small, tiny goals. Maybe they're focused on maybe improving their life a bit. But what they're not focused on is this. They're not focused on the big results. What Bill Gates puts most of his attention on is how do I get this Microsoft company to get massive? How do I help billions of people in the world. The thinking is always very big. And because he constantly puts his focus on the big results that he's trying to create, he creates those big results. On the other hand, this guy, Mr. Doofus, who's the average guy, he puts his, his attention, sorry, on average. So he puts his attention on, uh, let's say, the mortgage I have to pay, on maybe I can get uh, another $1,000 a month, on uh, the loans he has to cover, on uh, his wife nagging him about watching TV together, uh, on his weight, which is not very good. You know, so you have the guy here who's just the average guy who's focusing on average stuff. You have the self-development guy who's focusing on stupid things as well. He's focusing on, oh, let's improve my life by 10%. Let's, uh, let's do some meditation. Let's, uh, let's work out, you know, just, just kind of like average stuff. Like I'm improving myself. I'm getting a bit better every day, but there's no serious improvement. There's no hundred percent increase every month. You don't really see those big jumps. And the way it looks, if you, if you actually make it into a chart, uh, you see that the people who are average, their life basically looks something like this. So just up and down and up and down, and you have some sort of an average, and they don't really ever cross that average. Now you have people in self-development whose life looks something like this. Like they, they are improving. They do see improvements in their life, but they don't see anything big. So these are the self-development. You might not see that, it might be outside the board. Um, so people in self-development, they see some improvements, but then you have the really successful people, the people who take massive action, who think really big, who most of their attention is on getting here. And what happens is they actually go like this. They move much faster and they move uh, much more intensely. 
because again, the people who are average, all they're thinking about is what's currently available for me. Oh, this issue I need to get fixed. Oh, this, you know, just the present, just I'm scared about this, I need to handle this. The people in self-development, they're like, oh, I want to get here. You know, I want to get someday, maybe in 20, 50 years, I want to get to some big destination. The really successful people, they're like, I want to get here now. I want to get to 10 billion now. How can I compress time? How can I get, I get here really, really fast? Now, why is this so important? Because when you want to get to the moon, for example, you want to get from here all the way to Mr. Moon, you can't get here with a car. You can't get here with a boat. You can't get here with your feet. You need a serious jet. You need some penis looking jet to fly you all the way to the moon. And so the vehicle is different. Now, if you're Bill Gates, you want to get to the moon. You want to get to beyond the moon. So ahead of time, he's thinking big. He's thinking, I need a company. I need thousands of people. I need the best support. I need the best product from the beginning. But when you're Mr. Average, when you're Mr. Just Self-Development, just going like this, you want to get to maybe an extra, not a thousand dollars, maybe an extra ten thousand dollars. Well, you can do that on your own. So in the first place, the vehicle you're taking is a very slow, a very small vehicle that can take you there. So again, the higher you aim, the bigger the vehicle you're going to have to get, the more stronger, the most horsepower, the more pressure it can take, which again, the difference between walking, bicycling, a car, a plane, or a spaceship. Now you want the spaceship. Now they don't have teleportation yet, but till, until they have that, you want to create a spaceship. You want to make sure your ship is so tight that you can fly all the way to the moon. And again, if you don't aim there in the first place, you're never going to get there. I hope this message helped you. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.